All right, heading down to meet my boys, Campfire Steve and the Swamp Camper for a backcountry adventure out in the swamp as usual. Looking forward to it. There's a cold front that went through, so it's kind of chilly, so not digging that, but we'll get through it. Well, this hiking trip's off to a fun start. Um, we went to park near one of the forest roads for cut off a couple of miles to hike to the campsite. Uh, didn't think it would be a problem. I'm all blazed up here in orange because it's general gun season, but they wouldn't let us walk on the forest road. They brought us back to, well, this is the entry trail to get to the Florida trail and say, said you got to follow the Florida trail to get to your campsite. So it probably added about a mile to uh, the campsite. I hope it's only a mile. Um, I have a really heavy pack because I'm carrying an extra load for uh, my buddies I'm going to meet up with. And uh, uh, But like I always say, any day in the woods is better than being anywhere else. So I'll improvise, overcome, and adapt to the situation. And hopefully we'll have a really good time tonight just relaxing by the campfire. And it's a typical cloudy winter day. Cold front went through. Luckily it wasn't really that cold, so I bundled up so much extra clothes because I thought it'd be colder, which is another reason why my pack's so heavy, but um, I'm glad about that because I'm known for not really being a fan of the cold. You can give me 100 degrees and 100% humidity and I'm happy, but so if it stays like this with the cloud cover, that tends to uh, keep the temperatures up higher. I think I'll be all right. So hope you enjoy this misadventure out in the swamp. Well, too bad I'm so far from the campsite. There's some nice firewood here this time of year for what firewood you can get. But I think it's actually someone built a little dam here when this little watery area overflows. I don't know why they put a dam here to make the trail more flooded, but uh, look at all that growth. Ferns all over the trees, lots of greenery. If you stand still long enough in Florida, stuff will start growing on you. So you gotta keep moving. Well, this is unusual to find out in the woods. A pair of uh, sunglasses. Um, I don't know if someone lost it, but I was just thinking this is a genius idea if you're lost in the woods, is start shedding things that you have in your backpack that you really don't need and using it as trail markers so people can find you. Um, so, wow, I'm gonna remember this. That's kind of a genius idea to do when you're lost. You shed some stuff that is not a, an emergency item and put it along the trail side so if people are looking for you, they'll see clues. Or if you can't find your way back, you'll have clues to get back. Well, my buddies warned me about the wet trails ahead. And uh, normally it doesn't really bother me much, but since it's cold out, and if I get my socks wet, that's not good. So I'm gonna hopefully try to avoid as much as the water, because it'll probably get down into the 40s, and that's downright freezing for me. So I hope I can keep my socks dry. I didn't bring an extra pair. So, and the mosquitoes are really bad too. And normally, they don't really like my blood, but I guess they're desperate for anything. But hiking along this cattle ranch here, it's beautiful this time of year. All the grass has changed color. So it is nice. There's mosquitoes all over me. And I uh, can't wait to get to camp, light a fire, and relax. Here, I've been walking along this uh, barbed wire, and then there's a crossroads here. And 
Steve knows me really well. I'm looking here, do I want to add extra mileage or keep bushwhacking this way? So he uh, left a cool signal to let me know which way to go. Awesome. Footprints, that's good. And good old Steve left another uh, sign to head the right way. All three of us were Boy Scouts, so we know to do stuff like this. But I'm tired of being on the connector trail. I want to get on the Florida trail and get to camp. Well, finally made it to the Florida trail. I mean, that must have been the silly white trail walk that they made us walk. It's hunting season. It's probably two miles extra added to four miles for the overall trip added. Uh, at least from here on in, I know the trail, so. But getting tired. Still have several miles to go. It's a nice little creek here. I'm gonna sit here and relax for a little bit. And then uh, once more, back into the breach. And now we walk into this huge expanse of saw palmettos who have spiky spikes, wooden spikes on their trunks. So if you were walking just straight through there, it'd be pretty cut up. But luckily we've got a trail here, so that's good. But it's a nice, this is a good place to go stargazing it's wide open but with that cloud cover I don't think we'll see much tonight I'm sure you can hear the state bird buzzing buzzing around on the camera there's lots of skeeters out here Sole survivor, flowers always become the victim of winter, but one's holding on as long as it can. Well, I stopped to take a break, and there's a uh, campfire Steve, the trailblazer he is. Not only the arrow, but the time he was there. So I can kind of get an idea how long the hike is, but uh, I've never been out here when it's cloudy. I've always been out here when it's been crystal clear, so it's a whole different vibe, which is which is okay. It's always good to see the woods, different seasons, different weather, things like that. Um, whew, but the mosquitoes are really bad. And normal, it's weird. Normally, they don't really dig me that much, so but I guess they're really desperate. I've uh, walked several of these undulating sand, pine sand hills, and I think I'm close to camp. I'm going to send out a signal to the swamp camper if I'm right in a minute uh, when I get to the top of this sand hill, which what we call in Florida a mountain. But, all right, I'm gonna give it a try. I guess I'm not close enough yet. Sand Hills, also known as Florida Mountains. But it's one after another. With the sugar sand, it does get pretty tiring. Uh, but it's beautiful out here, and that's all that matters. All right, I think I'm really close. Let's try it again. I found them. <laughs> That's good because I'm really tired. Well, I made it to camp with these rascals. Swamp camper. Campfire Steve. Howdy, howdy. All right, on the search for some firewood. Since it's going to be a little bit chilly. 
And uh, I don't dig chili. Unless it's real chili with cheese. Some good wood there? Yeah, we're good. All right. Got my old trusty Kelty one person's late start. Keeps you nice and warm when these cold fronts come through. My these rascals are Jim. setting up tent. I already had mine set up. You shut up. You'll get your turn, mister. Shush. You're on double secret probation. I got this really warm flannel hat that should really keep you wicked warm. But whenever I put it on, I always think that I look like either like Elmer Fudd or even worse, Ed Gein. So I've never worn it before. Time to uh, collect some firewood. You know, the cloud cover here means it's going to be less cold. So I'm a little bit excited about that. But look at this beautiful view on top of a ridge. And there's this uh, beautiful pond. Looks really nice. There they go, the whooping cranes. Awesome. Very cool. For that campsite, lots of banter and laughter. Swamp Camper is trying to set up his uh, tent. I'm just listening to the birds. These rascals are trying to figure out how to set up their bivy. Right it's kind of humorous, actually. It way. Okay. I don't know if I want to put you through this. No, it's okay. I'm looking at it. I'm thinking it's a scissor action. That's, that's what it is all about. Set up a bivy drama continues. It's been going on for about an hour. Night hike time. Yeah, right there. That catches eye shine without scaring stuff. Now this is a. The pond over here. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen any gators in there? Not yet. What was that? What did you just hear? Just above. Just above the far tree line. Uh, light it up, guys. Light it up. What do we got? What are you seeing? It looked like there was like a light, a white light. Really? On the other side. I just heard something hit the water. There's a splash. Yeah, that was like a, a white light. Coming from the pond? Yeah, coming from the pond. Was it like the one we saw when we were out there with Jared the other night? On no. The, uh, all weekend? No. No? It was like a, a light shining at us. That was weird. It was just like a small white light, but I don't know. Okay, well, we'll keep going and see what we see. Night hiking, I fell behind my boys, but it's nice to be out here in the woods at night. It's a whole different uh, perspective. It's pretty cool. You know, we're out here on a night hike and we're all stressed with our jobs, but um, Campfire Steve said I could feel the stress just melting off. And uh, wise words, it's always good to get out away from the craziness and go into the wilderness. No squatchage? Nah. Think it's time for dinner? 
I agree. I'm hungry. Alrighty. Good time sitting by the fire. Talking about crazy stories and everything else and having good food. Omeals. Very good. I highly recommend it. I love hearing the uh, trains in the distance. It's kind of a cool sound to hear when you're out here in this part of the swamp. Morning time, we're all up. Look at that sunrise. That is uh, some good medicine for sure. Heading home. Back to nonsense. Rather be out here all the time. It's beautiful out here. <laughs> 